Recent report from China indicate that the J-10 fighter of Chinese Air Force might be getting a new variant. China's Chengdu aviation industry is the manufacturer of J-10 fighter, it might be bringing J-10 into the stealth age. The J-10 is a single-engine, lightweight multi-role fighter. J-10 has a huge delta wing, plus canards. The fighter has one WS-10 turbofan engine. The new design in rumors might have some stealth enhancement design, but not a fully stealthy fifth-generation fighter. Combined with thrust vector control, the latest J-10 variant could prove to be the most important breakthrough in its history. To give J-10 some stealth capability, it actually requires a complex design philosophy to reduce its radar cross-section. New external and internal body shape design is required to avoid strong reflective radar signal. Composite materials and other low-radar reflective materials can help greatly. Radiation-absorbent material can be used as external paint or cover. And the most difficult part would be J-10's vertical tail which is a major source of radar reflective surface, and it is unlikely to have a solution. At the moment, the J-10C is the latest modified variant with ESA radar and the imaging infrared seeker. It can carry the long-range PL-15 missiles and PL-10 dogfight missiles. All these capabilities make the J-10C a modern fighter jet, but it is never designed to be a stealth fighter. It is quite possible the latest J-10 variant might have limited stealth enhancement. Previously J-10 fighters have received major upgrades, we have mentioned J-10C, other than that, a J-10 testbed is also equipped with thrust vectoring nozzle. But stealth is still the biggest issue impacting J-10 fleet, it is never a stealth fighter. By reducing radar signals, the J-10 will be a lot harder to detect and better suited to work with J-20 stealth fighter and the possible Chinese mid-size stealth fighter J-35 to combat other stealth aircraft like the F-35 and F-22. The J-10C has not adopted any major stealth features, but with quite a large amount already in service, a new limited stealth version can be a good option for future upgrades. I would like to thank you for watching this video. And please do subscribe, share and comment, that would really help the YouTube channel, and I will continue to share more Chinese military news with you. Stay tuned.